Hey, y'all heard about that couple from Virginia who was up in age, who basically went to a shelter and adopted all black children, ranging in ages from 6 to 16, and made them work on their land, forcing them into slavery, and had them in fucked up living conditions, basically living outside in a shed that didn't have access to water, food, um, essentials. They were unkept, unclean, and a whole bunch of other shit. They're, like, facing, like, something like 16 charges. But get this, their neighbors actually called the laws on them, like, yeah, something ain't right over there. The law, like, the law, the police, pulls up to the scene and was snooping around and realized that kids was locked in the shed. After they get there, they, like, trying to be like, well, where's the homeowners? After there was no way of getting a hold of the lot owners, they basically just forced entry into the shed, breaking the locks, and realized that these these were kids in here. There was kids in there who were not fed. They didn't have proper living conditions. And after that, the um, homeowners were still not aware. They arrived way after all of this started um, going into full effect. And basically, they got arrested. Crazy, right? Because not y'all still trying to have slaves. Like, it's one thing not like us, but y'all tried to take it way back. Y'all said shit just was not like it it used to. And y'all thought things was really going to work out. But yeah, here's the clip. People, 63-year-old Donald Lance and 61-year-old Jean Whitefeather, both behind bars on Tuesday, facing felony child neglect with risk of injury charges. The Kanawha County Sheriff's Office is crediting neighbors in the area for prompting the investigation. You know, we were very fortunate this time that when the people called, we were actually able to go out there and see what was actually happening with our eyes. The sheriff's office says deputies responded to the scene around 5.45 Monday evening. When they got to the scene, deputies found a boy and a girl, both in their teens, trapped inside a 20 by 14 foot shed. According to court documents, the girl said her and her brother were not allowed inside the residence and were trapped out in that shed for long periods of time every day. They continued their efforts to try to make contact with someone that could gain them access to the barn or to the residence, and they were unsuccessful. So deputies eventually had to go ahead and force entry to the barn where they did locate a juvenile male and a juvenile female. The sheriff's office says that deputies also found another child located inside of the house in a loft that was about 15 feet off the ground. Deputies say Lance and Whitefeather didn't show up on scene until a few hours into the investigation, where they were then taken into custody. They say all the children found were completely unsupervised and without basic living necessities. The living conditions especially were horrible because there's no plumbing. There was no, you know, bathroom facilities inside there. They were, uh, appeared that their hygiene was, you know, just horrific. So the is it's all very concerning. You know, they the biggest thing was to try to get them out of that environment and at least, you know, the top priority was to get them in some decent care.